Hi, this is Paula Rivera with a quick inking video. Here I am inking traditionally over a digital sketch that I printed out in blue ink. This means that when I scan it in later into the computer, I can remove all the blue lines very quickly in Photoshop, leaving nothing but the black. You'll also see at the top that I uh, got a little bit of a head start with the lettering. I, uh, I just copied that from an actual Weird Science cover that I printed out in black so that I wouldn't have to ink it myself. So the, the original art is actually partially printed in black and then partially inked. I'm using a Winsor & Newton Series 7 number 6 brush, which as you can see is versatile enough to use on very fine lines but also to get really great coverage power for the big black areas. Occasionally you'll see me using a blue pencil that's, uh, those are spaces where I didn't quite have enough detail in the digital sketch and I need to kind of beef it up before I go in with the ink. And by the time I get to inking, I already have a pretty good idea of where most of the blacks go. Um, I do this in the computer because it's just easier to figure out there what the best composition is going to be so that by the time I start actually putting ink on the paper, I don't have to worry about what the, uh, the end product is going to look like. I know that it will read from a distance. For instance, the foreground is mostly black, whereas the background, as you'll see as it progresses, is uh, mostly lighter. It's just, it's done with a lot of line and not a lot of shadow. I like using the larger brushes because it's almost like having two brushes in one. It has a very fat base that holds a lot of ink, like, kind of like its own reservoir, and then it tapers into a very, very fine point that is almost like uh, the equivalent of a number two brush. I hope you've enjoyed this look into my inking process. You can always find more tips and tutorials at my website. PaulaRivera.com